Hi guys, it's Matt here from Henry Shine. Just doing a really quick video, just showing you the workflow to do when you're going to be restoring an implant um, that's been placed. So first thing you do, you come into your order form here. We'll set our, our date, so we'll set the delivery date, hit set. <laughs> Sorry about my daughter. And then once we go into here, uh, what we're gonna do is, so I've got my model here, which this is my implant over here. So that is, um, that is our one six. So basically we're gonna click on one six. I'm gonna hit abutment. I'm gonna say either abutment or screw retain crown. Let's just go with screw retain crown. I'm gonna choose by horizon. Um, and then after we choose that system, we can go tissue level, anchor pin, internal, obviously internal. We'll choose our size, so we're going to put our material in. So let's go uh, zirconia, uh, no, let's go zirconia monolithic, A2, the lab that we're sending to, and it's not in the group. So that's a single implant. So you'll notice over here, over on the, the right of the screen, see how it's added in our emergence profile scan once we chose the screw retain crown. Now, I always like to do my pre-preparation scan um, beforehand. So what I like to do is I like to do the scan with the healing abutment still in there. So now what we're gonna do, do our usual. I'm just gonna scan a quadrant on this case. <clears throat> so we're gonna scan our lower. After our lower scan, I'm just picking up some of the interproximal areas here. Let's just do a quick trim. And a quick trim over this side. All right, let's change it back to brush rather than laser. I'm going to go next. So now, this next part of our scan is our upper. So what we're doing is we're going to be scanning this with our healing cap uh, still in there. Now, I've just literally just got a, a Phillips head screw in here, but you'll have to just uh, bear with me because that's I don't have a healing cap in this particular model. So we're going to come across, we're going to pick up our interproximal areas. All right. So that's our healing cap done. So we're going to pick up this part of the scan first. And you can see here, it's going to ask us to mark the tooth. So we can do that with the scanner. And we're going to move to the right and it's going to ask us to mark the tooth. So we mark the tooth in the middle. Hopefully we haven't had five coffees at this point in time. And then we can once again use a scanner and go next. So you add in the pre-preparation scan and then once you've chosen your implant and everything like that. Um, so now healing cap is gonna come out. And now what we're gonna do, we scan in this part just down in here. So this is basically our emergence profile is what we're scanning in right now. So we want to, after we scan in our emergence profile, what I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to use the lock surface tool up the top. And I'm going to paint all around this area because if anything else gets ridden over the top of this, it's gonna annoy me. I don't wanna have any blood or I don't wanna have any any uh, part of my um, emergence profile start to collapse. So if I were to put anything else over the top of there, um, you know, that's not gonna give me any issues. So hypothetically, if I were to put, you know, I don't have blood, but if blood would have built up in, in this area, then it's not gonna get ridden over the top. Or if the tissue starts to collapse, 
it's not going to get ridden over the top and alter the, the scan from where it is at that point in time. So after this is done, it's going to ask us to mark the tooth again. We're going to click in the middle. Now, um, after that's done, I'll just move that about there. Now you can alter this um, cutout diameter here. So see how right now, um, basically that one six, uh, if I wanted to make that a smaller cutout area, so I'll show you if I go in next, So this is going to prepare the model. Now, I don't want there to be a large, big cutout hole like that because I'm going to be losing all my soft tissue. But can you see how the program cuts away that small little area for our scan body? So what that's doing is basically that's marking this whole area around here as a high definition, but it's just deleting this middle section here uh, for our scan body. So if you really wanted to, let's say I don't need this part here for the scan body, so you can trim that, I'll hit done. Now we're gonna plug in or, or screw in our scan body. So each scan body system is different, but on this one, I just place it in and then I screw it in. After that screwed in, you do your X-ray to make sure it's seated. And then now we're just gonna scan that in. So that's our scan body scanned in. So we're all good to go now. So now we hit next, pull your scan body out, and now we're gonna do the bite. Now it's important when we do the bite that you make sure the patient bites down firmly. So let's just do this now. Now I've got, I'm gonna push down pretty hard at the back because this model's a bit out of whack. So this is me asking the patient to bite down firmly. So that's our bite done. Let's just minimize that again. So after our bite's done, and I apologize, my screen struggles to catch up when I'm um, screen recording here. So any minute now, whee! Slow down graphics card. Uh, clearance, I'm gonna check my clearance, make sure that I've got good heavy contacts because I wanna make sure that I've got load on this bite before I send it off to the lab. So you can, if you were to, um, let's just go next. We're gonna post process. So that's pretty much all the full workflow for doing an implant crown. So now my cutout diameters, I'll show you what they are. So that's a pretty good um, cutout diameter that I've got there. Um, Bear with this. Uh, oh, let's go back into the bite step. I'm not going to do the live bite here. So there you go. So now that I've ticked this, adjust for contact, you can see our contacts are a lot heavier here, 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 here. So that's putting more load on our bite. So. On an implant crown, I'm gonna use this uh, so that we make sure that we've got extra load put on there because we don't wanna put extra pressure on the crown after it's been fitted, you know. Um, where you can, if you if the lab can use, say like a, uh, a good material, Vita Dynamic, um, it's really good implant crown material where it takes off a lot of the load off the implant. So, um, so that's that one, and then pretty much I'll just post process it and send it off, and that's that's our full implant case, the implant crown case done. So to scan for a scan body. So now in terms of the settings, just so you know, I'm just going to duck back out of the settings on this particular screen.
So if I now, I would have come into more settings. And then if I come down to my trios and scan and management, no, sorry, scan settings. So you can see down here, see how I've got my implant cutout diameter? Uh, these are obviously what uh, the diameters are of that particular area. So if you wanted to have a smaller cutout diameter, that's that, or if you wanted the large, but around about four is most probably a good size, depending on the size of the implant that you're fitting. But I'll generally have the implant cutout diameter for anteriors or posteriors around about that. So, um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Hopefully uh, that makes sense for you. Hopefully it makes it nice and easy for you to do that workflow. So just to jump back in again, don't forget, add in the pre-preparation scan. Um, the pre-preparation scan, which is over on the right. Mark the crown, mark the tooth as what it is, uh, abutment, and then choose your implant and the full... Um, uh, I guess uh, depending on what implant and, and everything. Um, so make sure you choose all of that. And then uh, when it comes into emergence profile, lock the emergence profile after you've done the healing cap scan. So that way that if any blood uh, comes on there or if you have any sort of a collapse of tissue, it's gonna lock it into place. And then pretty much well, for those guys that are um, sending off to lab, obviously you just hit send. For the ones that are doing it in-house, well, then you're going to then obviously start to design it in-house. So all good. All the best, guys, and I'll uh, speak to you later. Bye.